All right, I'm finally getting back to my screw tape letter review again here. This time, the tenth letter of the screw tape letters. And here, screw tape is excited for Wormwood that it appears his patient, the victim, the human here, is developing friendships, relationships with people who uh, whose will is satisfying to creatures such as Wormwood and Screwtape. And the reason that Screwtape is excited about this, the reason that these people are quote-unquote good influences on the patient, the victim here, is because they are primarily motivated out of contempt for the common, popular ideas of society. So let's say if the popular thing is to be for the war, then they are going to be against the war. And specifically, this is a good thing from Screwtape's perspective and Wormwood's perspective, because the motivation for this and the, the heart behind this is one of contempt for what's popular. So it's not necessarily that these people are would be against the war, genuinely in their hearts. It's that they have contempt for anything that's popular. And since being for the war is popular, they're going to be against that because they see themselves as superior to the common man. So if the average common man is going to believe something, then these people are going to position themselves against it simply out of being superior to them. And as you go through the tenth letter here of the screw tape letters, it seems to me that what C.S. Lewis is alluding to here, alluding to is something like Nietzsche's Ubermensch or even Dostoevsky's um, underground man, or even Raskolnikov, in that the spirit behind these people, this <coughs> perspective, is one of being above and beyond these ideas. Right? There's a point in this tenth letter where Screwtape says, you may even be able to get your man to the point where he can find himself participating in both uh, realities here, both perspectives, one of being the common man that is for something, as well as being the ubermensch who is beyond it, who is above it. And he can participate in both sides and see himself as being actually above and beyond both of those sides and having contempt for those positions while participating in those positions. Right? It's almost like uh, when the man would go to church, he would be worshipping alongside his fellow uh, churchgoers, but really inside he would be having contempt for them. He'll be mocking them, laughing at them. Like, see, I can participate in this, and yet I am above and beyond it. And then he could go to the university, let's say, where he builds relationships and communes with people who have contempt for the religious people, and yet he can have contempt for them as well. And say, you see, I can play both of these sides because I am above and beyond both of these sides. And of course, this is great because, from Screwtape and Wormwood's perspective, because when, as a person, you take that sort of positioning, where you are above and beyond 
any particular system, any particular belief, where everything is beneath you, well then, you've got no foundation, you've got nothing you're tethered to, you've got nothing objective, static, reliable, and so you're just floating about, and you are, you are ripe for the picking, you're low-hanging fruit for demons, for spirits, and as someone myself who can get lost in my head quite a bit, get lost in ideas, get lost in abstractions, um, it's easy if you're not careful if you don't take the time to reground yourself frequently, remind yourself frequently of uh, <coughs> God's greatness, of the underlying objective static reality, you can get lost and untethered. And, and when you're lost and untethered like that, Though at times it can make you feel superior, and it can make you have contempt for that which you view as beneath you, it also leaves room for quite a great deal of anxiety and fear. And when you couple things like anxiety, fear, contentment, um, contempt, I mean, contempt, you couple all those things together, uh, it's a recipe for um, for great evil, if not done unto yourself, done unto the world around you. And of course, this is exactly what being such as screw tape and wormwood would desire. So again, that's my thoughts on the tenth letter of the screw tape letters. Uh, again, I'm enjoying going through this book. I don't even know how many times I've read it now. And every time I read it, every chapter convicts me to some extent, but also refreshes me and encourages me and edifies me. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this letter, if you will, down in the comment section below. Um, I hope it was maybe helpful for you, maybe a blessing. Uh, I hope and pray that all is well with you and your family. If you have any sicknesses or struggles or any prayer needs at all, I just pray that you would lay them by the feet of our Heavenly Father and trust in Him and be guided by Him in His loving light. In the name of Jesus. Amen and God bless.